Welcome to Let's All Play Monday. I am Mislid and this is Fragment. Fragment is a game from Vancouver Film School made by four students in over the course of four months. I took this thing from concept to final execution, which we see here. This series is from Prescription Pixel. She started it, or it's her idea. Um, the idea being that every Monday we have a free game, free indie game, that she decides on, people play it, she puts a video up, up on, of it up on her channel. Some of us also make video responses. You should. If you don't do that kind of thing, you just don't want to, you should still go download the game. Link will be in this description and, of course, over on her site in her description. Download it, play it, come back, comment here or on her channel here and on her channel. However you want to do it, it's all good for me. And this time she has chosen this game, Fragment. It is, by their description, a sci-fi first-person stealth action game developed by four students using the Unity engine. So when you start it up, we have some options here. Within the game you only get, you can invert why you can change look sensitivity but when you first launch it you can change controls they recommend you play with the xbox controller um i'm playing with the mouse and keyboard i have not tried the xbox controller options and the mouse and keyboard plays just fine this is my second playthrough as opposed to my normal blind look because it didn't record the first time my recording software decided to record a black box for 20 minutes so that was cute so we're doing it again. But one thing to note if you do download and play this is that when you launch it, it will ask you for your resolution. And underneath that, it will ask you for quality settings. Quality settings default to the worst settings. So as soon as you turn it on, you know, change that setting up to, you know, beautiful or fantastic. I think those are both actual options that you can choose from. Let us get started. So like I said, I've played, you know, I did run this before, uh, my first recording of this that I had to blow up. We start off in that uh, space station you saw previously. We have, these are our instructions, get to the airlock, take a ship, fly the ship. Which I think are, you know, is a great way to give instruction to the player. And we have some controls. Um, we are fairly quick. These are just the WSAD keys, like one would expect. Here's a happy Obama poster, but it says science. But yet hope, we have science. And there is the Earth. That looks like the Earth, doesn't it? It's Europe over there, maybe? Norway and such, that kind of thing. I don't know. Let's pretend it's Earth, though. We're supposed to be, at least. We got a bunch of biohazard boxes just sitting around. And we don't have much in the way of... We have no inventory or anything. But we can do this. Boom. Check that thing out. This is our fragment, I believe it's called. And we can control it. So with the arrow keys, you can turn it. And if you, as you see, you can see what it sees. And then you can move it. Just press the arrow keys and it moves. Whatever direction you have to be facing. We can look at ourselves. And there we are. In our blue jumpsuit with no face. Or perhaps we have a helmet on. It's hard to tell. I think we have a helmet on, that's all. Anyway, we can do that. We can also recall it with the snap of our fingers. And the coolest thing, especially if you play Dishonored, Dual Member, something like this, we can change places with it. It's kind of like Blink, except that you can just keep doing it over and over. Whee! I'm going to keep calling it Blink because I think it's cool. And this door's like, would you make up your mind? So this is a unified industry, safety, responsibility, science. That's right. So our instructions that aren't on the wall. Press right click to assimilate. Boom! And he is fragments everywhere. That gave us, as you see in our bottom right corner, a little light blue bar. We will see what happens when you... Um, Energize that all the way later. It's propaganda. No more oil. Working fine. Earth 2 question mark. Game is great. 
Then you got a bunch of little junk down here that means nothing. Bunch of gibberish. It means something to somebody. All the enemies are scientists and they all look like that. We apparently are in some kind of medical facility with, you know, science posters everywhere. Here's our first actual AI opponents. This other guy is just, you know, there so you can learn how to explode people. The red line is pretty much what you can see. Um, the AI is definitely the weak point in this little game because he will not actually hear you. So as long as you don't let him see you, you're fine. Even like that. <laughs> that close. And he, they also, they won't look up. So if you stand up here, you're good. Can I jump on top of these? Uh, maybe not. We got some sticky notes, some less computer that we cannot interact with. All kinds of medical stuff everywhere. And somebody's notepad. This is, you know, day section. I might be stealing, like, all this stuff. Like, I need all these goods. I don't know for what, but I need them. Scientist of the month. All the same dude. Don't even take their mask off. For, or maybe, maybe, those aren't masks. It's a very unearthly child up in here. So we can fragment, as it was telling us a minute ago. And this is fire I told you. You can then control your guy by putting the arrow keys like this, so you can look at the camera. There we go. You can hit F2, pop up here. Which is called fluxing, apparently. You can flux. I call it blink. Or recalls, like I said, that just uh, snaps your fingers and it gets rid of your guy. Because the enemies can see your construct. Which we'll see in a minute. Double down here. Assimilate him. I'm not sure if they can see through this mirror. Um, let's find out. She goes, actually, okay, he's up there. I'll stand here until they, in case they see me. I'm not sure they come over here. They might not come this far. Come on, keep walking. Can you see me? Can you see me through the giant mirror? I'm here to kill you. No, I don't really need, don't, doesn't really need to come this far. Same time as a month. There's a door we can't get through yet. Let us go check out these guys. That's a super fun mechanic. Oh, he's shooting me in the face. You can take a couple different hits before you die. But we will attempt not to. Giant buttons. I like that they have, um, the objectives are obvious, right? You know, it's very linear in their game here, which is fine. And because you're trying to get off the space station as a, I don't know, know what we are, escaped criminal experiment. We're probably an experiment. It's not like a prison. So if you look over here, you'll see that this door is now green. We're going there. Teleport back. Oh, who am I? Don't know. Been here 23 days, 24 days. Maybe that's the last red one. Just to, I don't know. Maybe they didn't have the flux ability, and they were just a regular experiment who couldn't do awesome, awesome things like we can. So we can't open any of these. I tried before. I tried so hard. In the end, it didn't even matter. Don't trust them. Fear them. Fear them. Fear them. All they want is science. It's hard to make that sound like an awful thing. Um, I guess if you're drawing like that with bloody eyes and all this mess, like is that like actual blood? Where do you get these crayons to draw this stuff with? Oh well. Kill all science to fill your meter. As you can see, we've done that. And besides the queue in the bottom right hand corner, this looks like an explosion. Which should be a hint of what happens when you hit Q. So what you do, is you drop this down here. Then you pop Q. Boom! Right? And what was already one of the coolest abilities ever, just got better. Just got better. The game controls really well. It looks pretty nice. Okay, as I say that, there's some pixely craziness going on outside. But hey, you're not supposed to be looking outside. It's just you're trying to escape. Another little science room, biohazard stuff everywhere. That's got to be, you know, not sanitary. 
UISO 12 is dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous. Dun, dun, dun. No more jokes, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, see that Doctor Who fans too. Subject 12. Are we subject 12? I imagine, I suspect, we are subject 12. Oh, there's some stuff down there we should go check out. And we should go through. Here they actually force you to use your uh, your little blink thing to get through that little grate. I mistake. That's a piece of pie to me. Like some rhubarb pie or cherry pie maybe. I guess you're going to this be a T-bone. So it's a steak. I don't know. Looks like that's like crust with some cherry pie in it. Just saying. I escaped and now all I can do is hide. Where are you at if you're hiding? I didn't write this, did I? That'd be crazy. Boom! What now, scientist? You and your science? So duh. I got time for your science. Hiya! So this game's about, I don't know, 20 minutes long. If you take your time and look at all the stuff like we're doing now, you can beat it in uh, about five minutes. Which I discovered earlier when I was trying to make sure this game will record right if I do the settings correct and don't do stupid things. So again, they don't look up. These little scientist dudes will never actually look up at you. And you can't seem to take fall damage, which is fine by me. Because fall damage sucks. And that little snapping thing to get rid of your guy is kind of a cool little feature. I like that you snap your fingers to get something done. It doesn't just like, you know, the guy doesn't just like disappear. And you've got pretty good range. You can uh, do something out of range. <laughs> and of course, there goes the AI. Just like, you know, he's like, forget this. I don't even gonna remember that I just watched two of my workers, two of my co-workers just died to a giant purple man thing, creature, something. I don't even know, bomb. He doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. We will unlock something. And again, thankfully, we have our giant Escalation Mark arrow to tell us where to go. Remind us, go again here. Oh, no, we get seen. Don't be seen. Somebody drew a Kit Kat. Somebody drew a Kit Kat. And they apparently have really awful janitors around here who don't clean up anything. Ooh, let's go back in here. Can we get this guy before he... Oh. Did I get out? I like that not only do we have Blink, Oh no! Well that didn't go well did it? I am not very good at thieves today. Let me just throw it out there. Thievery is not something I'm great at today. Usually, I think I'm pretty good at you know, being a thief. You can jump as you see on top of these boxes. Check out that bad boy right there. Check him out. When I get in there, how do I get in there? These scientists who aren't even like paying attention to us whatsoever don't even care. Oh, I still mistake. Still miss that rhubarb pie that you think is steak. I think it's been so long since he's had steak, he has forgotten what steak looks like. So he's making you know this picture, but it looks kind of like a pie to me. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that is just me. So let's drop. Hmm, I need you all to move. I need you to hide. Oh, oh, sneak, sneak, run, run, run. Boom! That's a very satisfying explosion of glass when you murder people who are just doing their jobs. What did I just do? I just glitched. That's my first glitch I've seen, actually, which is I mean it says something for you know a game for students made. I just glitched myself through the wall there for a second. I brought it back. All right, so let's. Oh, oh, he hit the button. My bad. 
press the release button. Now, what kind of station this is, where there's no ladders to get, I mean, I guess the scientists, that's why these boxes are here, right? Maybe they jump up on those crates to get up here? I don't know. It's kind of strange having a door up here. What's this? I escape now. All I can do is hide. Yes, you told us that already, sweetie. You have already stated that you are hiding like a punk. We'll kill you with our stealth action, amazing skills of amazingness. Oh, we're about to die, are we? How'd you not see us? You are like the worst. I guess you're not guards, I'm about to say the worst guards ever, but you're not guards, you're just scientists, and I did not mean to jump in front of you like that. I'm sorry. Code red, code red, code red. It's always code red with you guys. True, I'm a scientist. Got some arrows, what these arrows are for. Still don't trust them. I don't, don't you worry about it. Don't you even be concerned about that. Oh, it's too far. I really want to put a, uh... I only got one of them. That was weak sauce. How'd you see me? You didn't see me. Why do I even play it? Alright, none of that went well. This would be a failed mission <laughs> in Deus Ex. Or in Thief. Or in Dishonored. Because I've been like, nope, I need the ghost achievements. I ain't got time you be seeing me. Got a space elevator. This seems really expensive to have like a space elevator you can see out of. But the stars are pretty. And the sun. And we got, oh, surfs up in the suit. Take that mess out. Hmm. Paradise. In a giant science suit. Let's go somewhere. Do we get to say where we go? No. We just get to go here. Okay. Safety, responsibility, science. That's right. Ooh, what we have here? More awful janitorial skills. They even painted over this. Guys, take the sign down, then paint it, and then put them back up. What is wrong with you? Y'all are too busy sciencing to do anything else right. How to smash a spider? Step on it. That simple enough. Blow up the shield. You got shielded spiders? Is that a spider I'm hearing? Because that's awful. Blow up the shield. Break its legs, smash its heads, squish it for freedom. Freedom! It's a mandatory freedom right there. Oh! Hi, spider. Okay. Alright, now. I see how it's gonna be. I see how you spiders are. I see how you are. Let me get over here. Let's see. Can I get. I need, like, both of you not to see me at the same time, because that would be awful. And you're not gonna turn around, are you? Nope. Oh, who's shooting at me? You're just... Is I getting shot by the spider? That's awful. Alright, so we should have a health bar, though, so I mean, it's fine. Just get away, so you don't die right away. I think you've gotta be hit, like, a certain amount of times, like, you know, in a small time frame to count. So we're just charging up our shields is what we're doing here. There we go, just like that. There we go, okay. So we got our shields charged. Let us... Blow up our... Spider. Now let's get down there. Their crazy skills break its legs. They're gonna jump on it, right? Boom! And this is all that's left. A giant spider head with a USB port in the front of it, apparently, and like a hydraulic lift. And the sound cut out. Yep, the sound cut out. Okay. Maybe it's just me. Maybe you also have sound. I don't know. We <laughs> we will continue on. As if y'all have sound. Where's the door? How do I get out of here? There we go. That was our boss battle. Warning, warning. Is that us? Oh, come here, construct, so I can look in your face. 
Click us again. That is us. Check that out. They are warning about us. And they should. Like, they have made a monster. I just go around fragmenting people. Warning, crazy person. Warning, crazy person. We got some of these escape shuttles. Press E to escape. What's, what's our escape shuttle? Whoa, look at that. Our escape shuttle is not attached to the pod. That's a trap. Look at that. You're going to hit that. You're going to go into space. That is a trap. We can't do that one. How about these? Are these other ones? Also a trap. You're a, tra you're a trap too. You are all traps. Those probably weren't even real scientists. Those are like, you know, temp workers that got real scientists are off being like, nope, let this dude kill himself. He'll think you escaped. Then we're just gonna like let him open the door without an airlock. So there's no real way out. So I'm going to assume that is not really a trap, but it should be. Like how great would that be? If only one of these actually worked to let you free from the science. So we <laughs> So we are going to get on the escape shuttle. And we just won. We, I think we're an experiment. I think that's what's going on there. And we have superpowers. I assume given to us by those scientists. And we got pretty much what was blink. And explosion power. And like a hand bursting fragment power thingamajigger. I don't even know what it's called. Called fragment, but... I don't know what it would be called in like, you know, non this game specific terms. So this has been Fragment for Let's All Play. Like I said, it is by four students from Vancouver Film School. And some collaborators who did science and you know, who did science, who did sound effects and such. All their names are here. Oh, like I said, I'll link this to a uh, link in the description for this. You can check out their um You can check it out. Download the game. It's not very large, like 100 meg or something, I think. I forget exactly. But download it. It plays on Windows and Mac, apparently. I am playing it on Windows. I have not tried it on my Mac yet. But, I mean, it should work. Why not? It's Unity. It should just play. And somebody tried out with a um, controller. They say it's better with a controller. I thought the keyboard controls were really tight. So, I don't have any problem with them at all. You run a little fast, but other than that, it's fine. The AI is weak, but I mean, they made an entire game, you know, while learning in four months. So I, that's fine. I'm not going to knock, you know, the fact that the AI doesn't look up too hard for that. But it's a fun little game. Blinking around is really fun. Expect, you know, dropping a guy, blink, you know, switching places with him, dropping another guy, switching places with him. Or jumping in, blowing somebody up, and zipping back where he came from, and disappearing the guy. I think this honored needs that. Dude, this honored sequel needs that. Like you leave something in your place, you can like zip back once you blink in. It would be amazing. So leave me a comment. Head over to Description Pixels uh, channel. Assuming you didn't come from there, which you probably did. If you, didn't, if you haven't seen it yet, go over there. I'll leave it in the description. Check out her thing. I am Mislid. This is Fragment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.